Coming up next on Jersey Matters, we talk to the coach of a budding NFL superstar playing in the Super Bowl this weekend who got his start in New Jersey. And when it comes to foreclosures in New Jersey, good news and bad news. We're not the worst in the country anymore, but we're still pretty bad. And we'll say goodbye to a broadcast legend. Those stories and much more because Jersey Matters. Welcome to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. We begin the show this week from the football field here at Monmouth University because it's on this field that a star was born. Chris Hogan is now a wide receiver for the New England Patriots. And a couple of weeks ago, he had a coming out party on the biggest of stages, the AFC Championship game. A record setting day, 180 yards, two touchdowns and nine receptions. It meant a lot for Chris Hogan. It meant a lot for the New England Patriots, and it meant a lot for the football program here at Monmouth University. And joining me now, the coach, thank you very much, sir. Thank the you. The coach of Monmouth University football, Kevin Callahan. Uh, Chris Hogan makes this appearance on the national stage that everybody seemed to be stunned by. I have a feeling you weren't as stunned. Um, not at all. Um, we knew from the first day that Chris was on the practice field here with us uh, back in 2010 that he was a special talent, that he had unique skills and he had the ability and the confidence to perform on a big stage. And as I was watching the game uh, last week and he had got that first reception, then a second one, then his first touchdown, second touchdown, I had the feeling that it might be a special night for him. Go through your emotions during that time as you watch a player that, you, that, that developed under your tutelage perform like that. Well, we were just very happy for what Chris was doing. I mean, playing in the NFL and being successful means an awful lot to him. He's, he's very highly motivated. He's a driven competitor. And to see him have that type of success in a championship game on that type of stage, we were just all extremely happy for him and for his family and everything that he's been able to accomplish. Take us back a few years. So he's a lacrosse. It's such an unlikely story. He's a lacrosse player at Penn State, decides, I want to play football. You come in at that point. Well, we, we were aware of Chris in high school. He had an outstanding junior year playing football. He had a very good senior year. But the way that lacrosse recruiting works is most of the time you make a decision based on your sophomore year or early junior year and where you're going to attend. So Chris decided to attend Penn State. So he essentially took himself off everybody's recruiting board. He continued to play as a senior, had a terrific senior season, won a state championship at Ramapo High School, um, but signed to play lacrosse in November at Penn State. As, we go, as he goes through his four years there, he remained very close friends with some of the guys on our team, guys who he competed against in high school. And through them, he reached out to us and, had, and to indicate that he had an interest of playing that one last year of football. He came down, he visited with us, we said, hey, why not? And we certainly remembered who Chris Hogan was. So he came with us for the preseason practice back in 2010. Um, it, was, it was very apparent early on that, that he was a very special player, was very talented. Um, and I, the, the rest was he had a great career here, and even though it was a short career, it was a three-month career. Um, he was, was there NFL interest then? Um, not right away, no, only because I, I think he had been off the radar for so long. He hadn't played football in four years, but he was talented enough that he played both ways for us here. Uh, in his first game he ever played, his first reception, as a matter of fact, was a touchdown pass, a 17-yarder against Colgate. Uh, after about the third game, we became decimated in the defensive secondary. We asked Chris if he would mind coming over and playing some defense. He practices two days, he starts at corner, and in the first game, in the first half, he has two interceptions. Uh, and then so from that point on, he played about 70 plays a game on defense, probably 15 to 25 plays on offense, um, and just had a great season for us. What does this Chris Hogan story mean to Monmouth football? Well, I, I think it's, it demonstrates that it, it's yet another quality, high-level player that's come through our program. It all started back in 2006 with a guy named Miles Austin, who oh, sure. also happened to be from Bergen County and went on to play for just about 10 years with the Dallas Cowboys. We've had a number of players since then, John Nalbone, Jose Gums, 
Chris Hogan, Neil Sterling, Hakeem Vallis, but it shows that you know quality football is being played here at Monmouth University, and, and our, we do have guys with the ability to play on Sunday. And you've been part of it from the very beginning. Uh, yes. you, you came in, you're the only football coach that this university knows. Will you be here the rest of your career? I would hope so. If you want it to be that way. Absolutely. You're not looking to go anywhere no. else. No, Monmouth is a very special place. It's, it's extremely supportive of, of all the athletic programs and certainly wants to be successful in football. You can see behind us here the construction of a new stadium that's going up, which will, be, uh, will open up this new stadium at our, at our home opener in 2017 here on September 2nd. Uh, there's a lot of exciting things going on here, and uh, um, I'm very, very happy to be here. Now, the kids, when they, when they see somebody like Chris Hogan, and doing so well on a big stage. Does that inspire them? Sure. I mean, I, I think as a, as a college football player on any level, they all have aspirations. They all have the belief that they're going to play on Sundays. And when they see somebody that's come through the program that they're in, who is actually playing on Sundays, who's having a tremendous amount of success on Sundays. I think that inspires them, it motivates them, it, it lets them know that they made the right decision and, they're, and that they're at the right place. Will you use that during some of your talks? We absolutely will. Uh, we point to the uh, all of our football alumni and, and certainly the guys that are playing in the NFL, but, but guys who are doing other things too, lawyers, doctors, whatever they may be. We use our alumni heavily in recruiting, but that, uh, playing in the NFL has a, it has a little bit more oomph to it sometimes than, than maybe working on Wall Street. This is going to be all ready for the new season? That'll be all ready, yes it will. And how do you look for this season? Uh, I think we look pretty good. Uh, we've been in the Big South now three years and I think we're making steady progress in that conference and uh, I'm really excited to see what we can do this year. So you'll be watching the Super Bowl? I will definitely are you a Patriots fan now? Bowl. I am now. I'm a fan of wherever our players are playing. Wonderful. Thank you very much, sir. Thank I appreciate you, you right. spending the time. Kevin Callahan, the legendary, the only coach from Monmouth, Monmouth University football. It's easy to be a legend with the only guy. Right. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you. We're coming right back after this.